from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. Welcome to Ramping Up Your English, winner of the Southern Oregon Television Award for Program of the Year and the award for Best Educational Program. I'm the host and producer, John Letts. Ramping Up Your English is an educational support program for intermediate English learners. It's a program for people from all language backgrounds. Ramping Up Your English is also for people of all ages. Now, if you've already passed the beginning stages of learning English and you want to reach higher levels of English proficiency, this program is designed to meet your needs. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher levels of English proficiency. The current thematic unit is animals. This is segment one of episode 60. In our last episode, we learned more about reptiles and the traits that an animal has to be classified as one. Now, scientists agree that the ancient reptiles were the first life to leave the ocean and establish life on land. In our next episode, we'll revisit some of those reptiles when we explore life cycles. Humans begin their life cycles as babies. They're given live birth, and they already have the instinct to drink milk from their mother. But no one confuses a baby with an adult human. Babies don't look like another species, but there's a noticeable difference from adults. Now, babies grow up to be young children, resembling adults more closely, but still distinct in many ways. This puppy also has changed its original appearance. Eyes are open now, and the puppy is much more active than it was when it was first born. The young child is also more active. Both are a lot of fun to be around. Only the mother is mature. Both the puppy and the young child have some growing up to do. Both need a lot of protection and care before they reach maturity. Now check out this family. We see people at all stages of their life cycle, the youngest and the older kids, the adult parents, and the grandfather in the final stages of his life cycle. The young adults are still at an age where they can start the life cycle over again when they have children. Now when you research your chosen animal for your report, you'll want to gather information about its life cycle. Some animals look very different from adults in the early stages of their cycles. This is especially easy to see among invertebrates. Now, what I mean when I say invertebrates is this. There are animals with no backbones. A vertebrate is an animal with a backbone, and an invertebrate is an animal without one. Now, some of these invertebrates look so different from other animals, you wonder if they're from another planet. Yet some of these maintain traits of the first living animals on Earth. They definitely are natives of our planet. Now, this jelly is an invertebrate. It has no backbone. It has no outer skeleton either. Its body is gelatinous and is supported by the water in which it lives. It has muscle and connective tissue, so it can move, as you can see. These graceful creatures are often called jellyfish, but that's confusing. They are not fish. Fish are vertebrates, and jellies are not. Now, jellies look beautifully graceful in the water, mostly floating. Their tentacles hang down to trap tiny creatures, which they digest to nourish themselves. Now, like many invertebrates, jellies produce, reproduce by creating a huge number of offspring. Now, many of the offspring feed other marine creatures, but enough of them reach sexual maturity to reproduce, and this keeps their species alive. As with many invertebrates, they produce a generous amount of food the animals around them can eat. Now, when we use the term life cycle, we refer to how animals mate and reproduce as well as the stage their young pass through on their way to maturity. We also include the parent's role in their upbringing. Now, it's amazing what an animal can do without a backbone. 
Consider the octopus. While they don't have a backbone, they make up for that in arms. They have eight of them. They have other adaptations as well, ways to escape predators as well as hang on to rocks and find and eat their own prey. Now, sea stars were once called starfish, but like jellies, they are not fish. They're invertebrates. Now, some of them have five arms, but others have more. This sunflower star was discovered in the act of eating a sea urchin. They have an unusual way of doing this. Once they capture the urchin, they distend their stomach into the shell of the urchin and digest it from the inside. And that's what's left of the urchin right there. Now, these fish seem to be swimming among colorful plants, but these beautiful forms are animals known as coral. There's an example of invertebrates right there. Coral also reproduce by way of large numbers of eggs. Again, most of them are eaten. They must also find a place to establish themselves. Now, here we get a good look at a healthy coral reef. I recognize staghorn coral and brain coral. Now, there are other types in this view, but I can't identify them. Maybe you can. Let's follow this sea turtle as it swims through this coral reef. The turtle is a vertebrate, having a backbone inside the shell. The coral comes in two basic types, hard coral and soft coral. Worldwide, coral reefs are showing the stress of climate change. President Obama has set aside a large marine area for the protection of coral reefs and other ocean life, but there's no place to hide from the effects of climate change. Now, while most of us don't see coral reefs and jellies every day, we can be impressed by what they tell us about the diversity of life, especially from our invertebrate cousins. If the idea of not having a backbone seems a bit creepy, you won't feel that way when seeing the grace and vibrant color of many invertebrates. Be it coral, sea stars, or jellies, we're blessed to share this earth with so many amazing creatures. We'll see more of them soon. This ends segment one of Ramping Up Your English. We'll return with segment two after this. Organization that's doing big time restoration of forests and stream banks. Hello, I'm John Letts, producer of Adventures in 